comments. I, a lot happened uh, for Christmas and my birthday. And as you can see, we set up the tree up, which we're gonna be taking down soon. I got some of the gifts that I got, we got. Just thought I'd show you what we got over the holiday season. It might not be in order of which one's Christmas and which one's birthday, but I'll just tell you which one's which. First off, I got this cool little kit of um, this this gardening bag uh, because I wanted to start gardening here and we have a backyard to use now. I had a backyard when I was like five or six, but after that, I don't really remember it. I haven't had one until, well, I guess now last year, 2022. I get to garden, which I've always wanted to do. And in here, I've stored in some of the tools that she got me, my mom did. We got different tools that I tried to fit in here. Oh yeah, spray bottle. Yeah, she got me a lot of gear. It's pretty cool. And some gloves. Oh yeah. Got some of this. Anyway, I really like the design. I got the matcha.com lip balm. And when I opened this and saw this, I was like, the only way you usually get this is if you had already purchased something else from there. And this is just complimentary. So I knew that she must have bought me something else from there, which I will show you in a bit. Oh yeah, so the garden tools that I showed you, it came in this pretty box. Oh yeah, the garden tool set. This is, <laughs> this is really cute. I know she thought I would like be like, why did you buy me this? But I actually love this. They are mini bottles or flasks, however you want to call them. I'm trying to find all the variations of color, I might not have gotten them all. Really cute. Uh, with the cork on top. So, you can see over here, there's like a lot of different colors. I don't know what to put in them, but I really like them. Probably just to decorate, I guess. This was a gift uh, for both Nug and I. I know people are like, the tool set, come on. But I don't know, it, it really made me emotional because I love building things and I always thought tool sets are really cool. And my mom was taught by my grandpa how to build stuff so that she could have like well-rounded knowledge of uh, just kind of how to survive on her own. And for us, we like building, but we always use like her tool set. But I guess it was kind of like almost like it was our first full year of being married. And then a few weeks later, it was Christmas. So as like almost like an anniversary gift Christmas blend. We got our first tool set. It's kind of like passing on the knowledge. So as my grandpa passed on the knowledge to her, she's now passing it on to both of us by giving us a cool little tool set. There's so many things in here. I love it. I'll be using this tool set when I build some things like I have to build some of the cubbies that are over there. I'm going to be putting it into my office so that I can have a um, bookshelf. Speaking of bookshelf, I'm starting to get too many books that I need a bookshelf. That's why I need to build those cubbies because I got this for Christmas. It's from <clears throat> Notebook Therapy. Nug got it for me. It's from the Tsuki collection, which is like Moon collection. He wasn't sure which one to get for me, but he knows I love snow. And these are snow-capped mountains at night. He was a little worried that I'd be upset because it's it's black, so it's a darker kind of vibe. But I said it's like, it's an accent, you know? It's not like the majority of my stuff is black, so having this as like, I can bring it around other places so it doesn't really matter. But I like it. Even if it was there all the time, it's not that much black. <laughs> oh yeah, another one, and I will show you this in a bit. We don't have gas stoves, we have electric, and anything that might require a gas stove, like our hot pot, our clay hot pot thing that I bought a few months back, uh, needs to be on gas. So we got this portable gas burner. Tried cooking 
which you will see in the next video, uh, two weeks from now, uh, I cooked with it for a meal, which you will find out what that meal is, but it cooked really nicely. I really like it. I got this little platypus. <laughs> Doug took me on a wild adventure on my birthday. He had surprised me of where we're going, so I didn't know where I was driving to until we went to the next thing. We had to drop my mom off at school. <clears throat> so right after we dropped her off, he told me where the first place was gonna be, which was Clingers. I drank some coffee, a mocha. He had some hot cocoa, as you saw in my previous video. He had a turkey and cheese croissant. I had a ham and cheese croissant. They were really good. And it was so early, it was like 7.30ish. Then we went to the Overlook Park. It was so green. Like, our neighborhood was still kind of snowy. We could see some splotches of grass, but for the most part it was snowy. And you go to the other side of the state and it's super, super green. It's like, it hasn't seen snow yet. I know it has, but it's all melted, so it was kind of crazy. We went to the Asian market. And then we went to Barnes & Noble. I wasn't planning on getting anything because I like to buy from a local bookstore and we have one in my uh, neighborhood, but I figured that they wouldn't have like a huge selection of Asian literature. And after going a week later, I was right. They really don't. This book, Daughter of the Moon Goddess, I've read about 60 or so pages, so I haven't gotten that far in it, but I'm so hooked. I did do the thing you're not supposed to do, which is judge a book by its cover, but it's beautiful. When I briefly looked at the back from like about the author and what it was about, I was like, it really sounds like my thing, and I love it. I love it so much. I went to the Maple Park, so that's where I got this buddy boy. Oh yeah, he surprised me by buying this for me. Like, we went there and I showed interest in this and then he grabbed it and bought it for me for my birthday, so that was really sweet. They have a lot of plushies, a lot of soft ones, and the last time we were there, before Christmas, <laughs> I was eyeing this guy. This is so cute. It's so soft. And then he got me this while we were there. This color is kind of like a periwinkle, so I named him Periwinkle. A nickname for him, Perry the Platypus. <laughs> P-E-R-I instead of P-E-R-R-Y. So, I saw this. This is one of my favorite shapes of glasses, but this is so round. I love things that are like spherical, circles, cylinders, cones. I like that. This guy. So good. And I thought, oh, I could put like lattes in there, mochas. I could put my warm and cold drinks in here. I've been putting matcha in here for Christmas. My mom bought me this from matcha.com. Also bought me the scoop. This big guy. Basically same idea, but just like twice the size. She got me two of these. I'm just only bringing over one because they're trying to dry right now to wash them, but it's a syrup canister. But you can also use it for honey. One is going to be maple syrup and one is going to be honey. We got <laughs> these. She had no idea it was going to be as big as it was or as thick as it was here or as huge. It's really heavy. But it looks funny. I don't like it. It's for oils. Like all of them. Butane fuel for the burner I was talking about earlier. Dr. Howes. This really looks like a sponsorship. I'm not sponsored. I have to say this for every video. I'm not getting sponsored for any of this. I just like what I'm getting to put on here. I get this for. Oh, it is weighted nozzle too, but it's not the one that we bought. We picked up my mom. We went to hang out with our uh, old neighbors. And then we went to the bowling alley. <laughs> Had good food. 
and then on Saturday we all hung out together. Went to the local bookstore, uh, got a mocha, which ended up tasting like a latte, but still don't know if it was actually a mocha or not. He got this book for me. Just really had good vibes, so I wanted to read about it, and it's everything I like about, you know, trees. I love hugging trees, and they're really, uh, they're really healing. And ever since I posted about this, people were like, it's a really good book, so I was like, We looked at a bunch of shops. Got some truffles, the herb shop. I really like it because I'm really interested in herbalism, which I'm going to be studying a lot of this year. Some book recommendations of what to kind of get started in. I've been reading a lot about herbalism ever since I was a kid. I already have the big textbook of medicinal herbalism, so she was like, oh, okay, so you know your stuff, so she gave me some extra stuff to read because I would love to like work at that kind of shop one day. I just, I don't have the qualifications yet, so I just want to work really hard to become a herbalist one day. We went to the canning company, other weighted nozzles for olive oils, oh, fancy stuff. Got scallion oil, because ever since coming here, it's like not easy to find green onion oil. White truffle olive oil. Very excited about this because I love truffle oil and truffle salt and all that. We went ice skating, which was a bunch of fun. Practice lunges. I'm only able to hold it for like two, two to four seconds if I'm lucky, but the majority of the time, not even a second and I'm falling. But he's getting really good. So there's this thing called a swizzle where you have like the heels like this and then it goes to here. So it's kind of like a lemon shape where you kind of just go like that. He can do those. He can do them backwards too now. And now I'm teaching him how to do a pump where it's just like a half swizzle like that while you're moving. He's really good at that. He's catching up to me really fast. Soon I'm gonna be like, I can't teach you anything because <laughs> even though I'm taking a lesson, he, he's not, so he's only learning from me. Like soon I'm not gonna be able to teach you anything because I haven't gotten there yet, so <laughs> he's gonna have to get lessons. <laughs> I don't know what level I'm at right now. I only started in October of 2022. It was always like $55 per session, which is like five-ish classes. It was for beginner for session two, which was actually four lessons, still 55 because I was in the beginner like one to three and then I came in and I was doing the payment they're like it's 75 I was like did a raise <laughs> it's normally 55 for me this is the new price 75 because I was okay with that but I just wanted to know they're like no yeah it's the price for the intermediate and advanced levels I was like oh no 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 no, no. I am in the one to three so that's 55 right they're like yeah it's 55 but you're not in that I was like what? <laughs> when I look at the guideline for basic one, two, three, and adult four to six, I am learning both three and four. So it's weird. I'm like in the cusp. I guess I believe my teacher when she says I'm in the intermediate. It's just, I didn't see that coming that quickly in three months. That was a surprise gift in itself. <laughs> I'm learning lunges and trying to do forward crossovers, which are really scary. I don't do New Year's resolutions, but I have a goal that by the end of this year, I would like to be doing forward crossovers. I would also like to be able to bake one type of bread. I bought myself something on New Year's Eve. It is the digital journal from Cozy Leaf Studios. You should get it. It's good stuff. I've been wanting to do digital journaling. I never knew how. I wanted to get an iPad and you saw in my unboxing I got an iPad for future digital journaling. I was like, hmm, well perfect. And I bought it on New Year's Eve. I bought the bundle where it's the Cozy Lee stickers, my Sweet Chub stickers, and the journal. I want to show you the matcha tea ceremony because it's pretty healing for my mind and body to do. It tastes really good. Feels really good. Overall, makes me happier and calmer. I am so sorry. I, um, my bubble bee brain 
had this right next to me and I forgot to show you it. I have a wonderful notebook therapy, again, not sponsored, though I would never complain by that because it's good stuff. Uh, Nug got me a Kyoto tote bag because Kyoto is a long, long favorite prefecture that I'm so interested in and I've never been to Japan yet. Uh, I have planned so many times to go to Japan. We've even basically gotten tickets uh, and then had to cancel because each time in my life it never ended up working out. And this has been going on since I was 16, so... Oh yeah, I just turned 24 on the 2nd of January, so <laughs> it's been 8 years of trying to get to Japan and it's still not working. But someday I'm gonna go. <laughs> to show you my little wallpaper I got on here from my sweet chubs. Really love the little snowman. It's the same uh, rural life wallpaper as before. It just um, is winter version. I did some uh, decorations of it. A profile picture with some of the cute stickers. I did hot cocoa Christmas setup, snow, the matcha I made pretty Christmas present that my mom wrapped and I just really liked it. January, I just decorated the different things that we're gonna be doing. Years, this one was my birthday, that's why I did the strawberry shortcake. I also love Japanese strawberry shortcake and that's what I used to have for my birthday so it's perfect. This uh, little bee is just going towards the water which is representing Hawaii and then the butterfly is coming back to uh, the snowy area which is where we live now. This, <laughs> I did the bunny because it's gonna be Lunar New Year of the bunny. And then I did <laughs> the Emperor Elmer drawing I did it earlier because he's in the traditional uh, Korean wear. So they celebrate Lunar New Year too. I thought it was kind of funny. 23, I did a picnic basket because that's what my mom likes. And she, uh, it's her birthday. So, sleepy eggplant because that's actually when we arrive. Leaving Hawaii on the 28th, but we arrive back on the 29th. We're probably gonna be really sleepy. I did all of my favorite pictures, kind of in one. It's, it's not the nicest, it's kind of sloppy, but I don't know, I like it because it's, it's chaotic and that's my life. This, I just thought it was a cute, simple vision board that January is supposed to be snowy. I gave <laughs> Mr. Snowman a little matcha tea which is probably why he's melting a little bit. Same with the candle, but he's, he's vibing. And then I just highlighted the same uh, important dates on here. I guess all I wrote was for New Year's, I said it was an indoor day, we rested up. Oh yeah, we bought Dinkum. Uh, Macy wanted us to try it because it's kind of cozy, kind of Animal Crossing vibes, but in a, in a unique way. And it runs very smoothly. We had a lot of fun, but we only just got started. Oh yeah, and then we took a New Year's picture together. I'll update every so often when I fill it in more. This book right here is the one I was talking about that I bought myself. I love medicinal plants and herbs and herbalism, so I thought this would be a really cool book. It has like the pictures, descriptions, the uses. I'm gonna, I'm gonna love this. I'm not currently in school right now and I don't know what my future will entail for education but I do love studying on my own. Here at the Cozy Rosy Academy we learn stuff like herbalism, things that are nature-based, the arts, languages, all that good stuff. 